Hello everyone, Finger here from Barfmation, and today I'm reviewing, well, I say reviewing, but more so taking a look at every single T-Rex that have been released since 20, I want to say 11, 2012, until 2022, and, and we'll even take a look at some bonus, bonus things, hey? So without further ado, um, I'll just tease one more. Uh, let's just get into the video and go through all these T-Rexes on chronological order and we'll sort of review them. So in set number order, the first T-Rex we're going to take a look at came in the T-Rex Hunter. Um, very cool set, very cool T-Rex. You can see I've drawn on mine. Um, back in 2015, I did not possess what we call the Red Rex. Um, so I just used this as Rexy, so, you know, I've got scars, but, and I even drew the fingers for some reason. Um, very, very old T-Rex. It's probably one of my all-time favorites, since it's my only, like, it's my oldest T-Rex that's still good. Um, you'll see with the green T-Rex from that year. Um, again, this was sort of the base for all the other large, uh, carnivores, I guess. I... I want to say theropod, but I keep mixing sauropod and theropod up, so I don't want to uh, piss any people off, if you know what I mean. One thing to note with these older T-Rexes, uh, compared to the newer ones, um, with these old ones, they printed all the way on the tail, but with these newer ones, they just sort of cut it off um, about a quarter into the tail, so that's a nice detail. But yeah, that's really the um, first 2011, I want to say. I'll put the numbers right on there every year. I'll put them in the corner. Uh, so yeah, and let's take a look at the green one. So the green T-Rex is basically a copy and paste print-wise. It's just different colors. So this one uses a olive green and a, I want to say reddish brown um, base colors and mold colors. Um, the printing is exact to the other one. Um, maybe there's a, there are a bit of center, but like they supposed to be the best or like, not the best, the same printing. Um, again, another thing I forgot to mention, again, with these T-Rexes, I do think they put in some more effort with the printing because you can see the print continues all the way up on the leg. And with all the others, um, the, here's the most recent one from 2022, and it uh, doesn't have that, and no, no, neither of the other ones have that. But again, um, I always use this as Buck from The Lost World. You can see a little bit of the red there. It's supposed to be the scars. But yeah, this one is very plain. Like, whenever you put it in a pose, usually stands but it falls over very easily like the jaw is very loose the neck i always had trouble with this head falling off that even the tail is loose cool t-rex uh, let's move on to 2015 and here is the 2015 uh, as we call it the red rex more so based off of rexy from the first jurassic park um i love this one uh, the printing is the most unique out of every t-rex because Every T-Rex printing, except for this one, have been repeated. And then there's also the, the exclusive T-Rex. That printing has also never been repeated. But this is the only retail, like, everyone can get this T-Rex that has never been repeated in printing. Except for the tail. We'll see that later. But yeah, I love this one. It was the first year you got the actual, like, white teeth. Like, not the little sand, but, like, the actual white teeth. The eye printing was a lot more friendly. Um, from the front, still looks a bit scary. Um, the jaw is loose because I bought mine second hand. I don't have any of the sets that this comes in. I really love this one. Um, it, again, very cool. And um, a worthy follow-up to the dino ones. So yeah, that's the 2015 Rex. And then next up would be the 2018 uh, T-Rex Transport T-Rex. Um, again, uh, one thing that was repeated is the tail printing. Um, right. It's almost exact. Um, right, um, I do have to mention I removed my spots here because I didn't like them and I'd like it better this way. The other spots I think look great, but this one I didn't like it on. Um, I love the printing, like the more tiger-esque um, printing. Um, I love these colors as well, like the tan and nougat. Um, the eyes are very nice. And this is a very good T-Rex. Yeah, I, I did a lot to this. Like, this was 2018, guys. I didn't know what, what Lego dinosaurs were worth. If this was now, I would never have removed printing or drawn on it ever. Like, you gotta believe me on this one. And this printing was repeated the following year with what I call the Big Edie. And this is what I dubbed the Big Edie T-Rex. It's actually more commonly known as the Legend of Isla Nublar 
T-Rex, because this came out in Legend of Isla Nubar. Nubar? Yeah. Legend of Isla Nublar um, wave of sets, like with the Danny Niedemeyer stuff and the Baryonyx, like that wave. Um, fun fact, Danny Niedemeyer actually came in this set. And once again, I don't own the set that this comes with. I bought this loose. Um, and at first, I hated this T-Rex. I think I went over that in my Top 5 Dinosaurs video. Um, this is still my favorite T-Rex. I love this one. This was my most hated one at first, and now I love it. I, I genuinely like this one so much. Um, the only thing that they changed with the printing compared to 2018 is you can see on the eyebrows, they didn't, um, they changed it a little bit. Just the head is just a little bit different for the rest. Every piece of printing is the same. And this is also the only T-Rex that was released in the Jurassic World theme that has different colored claws. So these ones are brown or like a dark brown, as you can see. And all the other Rexes have um, black toe printing. And then the dino ones have yellow or tan ones, but that's again, not Jurassic World in and of itself. So um, very cool Rex. I love this one a lot. Um, if you don't have it, I suggest getting it. Um, it's expensive on the secondhand market, but again, so are all the dinosaurs. So it's a price I'm willing to pay. And I think you all should be willing to pay. And then next up is in um, everybody's mouth known as the ugliest T-Rex Lego has ever done. And I disagree with that. You might say, yeah, the ghost green, the spring leaf green is so ugly. I can see where you're coming from. I didn't like it at first, but I think it has some sort of charm about it. I, It reminds me of the Rex from Jurassic Park 3, and that's what I usually use it as, the Rex from Jurassic Park 3. Um, the red printing, I think, is more of a crime against this thing than the ghost green because I feel like this dark red doesn't really match the greens. Like, if this was black, it would have been perfect. Um, or if this was dark green, it would have been even more perfect. But I like this T-Rex. I love the printing. Um, the arms are actually reused on the Giga, like the exact same arms. And the jaw, obviously, is still the same. Um, don't really know what to say about this one except for that I think it's overheated and... I think give it a chance, I'd say. Um, if you don't like the junior set, well, I get, I get that. But like, get the T-Rex loose. Because um, the junior set's not worth it uh, for uh, 50 bucks. Definitely not not just for this T-Rex. It's just not worth it. But um, the T-Rex in its of itself is worth it. And I like it a lot. And then now, the final T-Rex um, from the Jurassic World theme. Sort of. We're going to have some bonuses later. Ooh, you got to stay for that. So, um... This is a very good Rex. I love the colors on this one. This color-wise represent Rexy the best, but I don't think it's the most accurate one printing-wise. And this is obviously meant to be Rexy because it like, came in the Dominion waves and the only T-Rex is, is Rexy, blah, blah, blah. I still think the red Rex is Rexy, and I see this one as the dough. Um, Obviously, because it looks like the dough, it's, again, very nice. Same printing as on the green one, but I think the colors are way better. And this might be my second favorite T-Rex Lego has ever done. And I love it a lot. And if you don't have the set, then I suggest getting it, because this is a really good one. Now, on to some bonuses. Here is the T-Rex Fossil set from the T-Rex Fossil set, also known as the Camp Cretaceous Wave. Um, it's a brick built T-Rex skeleton. Um, I have it in the specific pose, if you recognize it. You're... You're a god. If you don't, then you're a little bit less of a god. Um, the only thing that's really molded about this, specifically molded, is the skull or like the head, because the head is just a recolor of um, this, the living T Rex, but it's dead. Woo, woo, woo. And then here we have the Dino Attack slash Dino 2010 T Rexes. Very unique monsters. These are real Godzillas. Um, yeah, the eyes light up on these. Like, this one doesn't have light up eyes, I think. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Like, they have horns, like four horns in the face, and three fingered claws, um, like the huge hump here. They, as Rona Bros put it, looks they look like they have a shell, like an actual shell on top of some sort of mechanical looking flesh. Like, I can see what Rona means with the fact that they look like they have a shell. And then the tails are all weird. These are some weird abominations. I don't know what Lego was thinking when they were designing these, but do I hate them? Definitely not, because these are very cool. Um, and they're large, like they're actually proper sized. This is the 
this is a regular T-Rex, the modern T-Rex. This is a new T-Rex. This is even bigger than the Giganotosaurus. And if they can mold things this big, I bet they can do a Brachiosaurus. And, well, maybe we'll take a look at one more T-Rex. And then obviously the last T-Rex I'm going to showcase is not the one from the T-Rex breakout, but the T-Rex Rampage. This thing is ginormous. It's huge. It's satisfying. The tail. You feel that rattle? You hear that rattle? That's satisfying, man. Um, I did have a blooper where the leg snapped off, but uh, maybe I'll show it if I still have the clip. Right. Uh, this thing is huge. It's very big. You can like wiggle it. It doesn't necessarily have to fall over. I love the building techniques on this. This thing is very cool and it will forever until i change the display be a part of my background and with that we have finished the video thank you guys for watching this video like and subscribe for more dinosaur and lego and bionicle and lego and dinosaur and lego and chima and lego and lego content